Hey everyone, Steve with EnviroSafe. Just want to give you guys a quick rundown on what to expect when you get your new tank that's got a transfer system on it. Right here, we've got one of our tanks that will be shipping out shortly and I just want to show you guys what you're going to want to look for, what's going to need to be installed, and the things that you're going to have to do to be able to get your system online and to know what you're looking at when the tank arrives. This is actually a single pump system. It's not one of our dual pumps, so it's a little bit easier to deal with. So once you guys get on site, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to connect the 120 volt power, which needs to be on its own circuit. Depending on the size, we'll provide you with specifications for the pump and for the system. That'll depict what circuits, circuit breaker size you guys need to use, but it's going to be between 15 and 20 amps. This is going to be your panel. <clears throat> Never at any point in time should you ever bring power into the bottom of the panel. The reason for that is in the event that there's a leak in any one of your hoses and you have fuel, it'll go down into the bottom of the panel and you don't want the fuel leaking out. If you look down here, there's a little float on the bottom of this transfer system. Once this raises, an alarm will go off and it's a leak. There's two ways to tell if it's a leak. There's a light on the front and inside the actual control panel is a display function that will tell you that there's a leak inside the panel and there's different alarm functions. So never drill your electrical holes in the bottom, always coming in from the side or from the top. We choose to come in from the top because it's associated with all the electrical fittings and pipe fittings all in one location. We just we feel that it looks much cleaner so that's how we do it. In the control panel, there's labels for where the power can come in, where your spare cable glands are, where you can bring your probe wiring in. So you're going to want to bring your power in through here, and it's going to get wired in to TV1. However, please, please, please ensure that you verify with the wiring diagrams that's going to be located right there. In that book, we'll tell you how to wire it, what goes to where, what wires are required, what sizes, what circuit breakers, and everything that's associated specifically with your new system. But this is, a, you know, generic, so... We're going to bring the wiring in to TV1. You're going to have a power neutral on the ground because it's 120 volts, approximately 20 amps. You got two different circuit breakers. CB stands for circuit breaker. You're going to have both of these are going to be off when it's shipped to you. Please leave them off until you're in a position that it's electrically safe and you're no longer in a hazard. Once these get turned on, your panel is going to turn on. You'll be in a position when you can start running the system. There is a probe installation that's going to come, but we'll do that in a different video because that's way more complex and it requires quite a bit of intuitive thinking along with possibly two people. You'll need one person testing the floats, one person verifying that the alarm is being actual. So once you have the power in, you got your float line in, everything's hooked up. Your power is going to be in the TB1 and in TB2, depending on what your wiring diagram says, it'll be on the bottom of the terminal board number two. And your wiring diagram will clearly say it's going to be 23, 24, 25, 26. That's your critical high, high, low, and critical low. And that's in here. And then we'll do the testing for those later. So we got our power on. We turn it on. Verify in here. Your system will be shipped with the e-stop pushed in. So yes, it will automatically be an alarm. So the first thing you're going to want to do is verify that it says e-stop pushed in. Go, and it's not a pull. It is a twist pull. So you're going to twist it pull it and it'll pop out, hit the alarm reset button, and then you guys should be in a position if everything's wired properly, where now you can start testing the functionality of your system. Hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of clarity on what to expect on a new system when it comes in. If not, please don't hesitate to give us a call. 1-800-555-4754. We also have a whole lot of information online, www.envirosafetanks.com. Thank you.